In this video, we're going to look at the CSS comment tag, how to make one, and how it's used. Basically, the CSS comment tag makes the content between the opening and closing comment tag invisible to the browsers. The main purpose for the CSS comment tags are to, for example, explain your code, and it might help you later when you are wondering what the heck you are thinking when you added that particular code. A few other things to know about the CSS comment tags are that they can span multiple lines. The comments can include CSS elements that you do not want in the document, and maybe you'll put them in later. But for now, you just don't want to delete them. And comments can also include information like your name, email address, and web address. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at how to make a comment tag. Pretty simple, really. Like most tags, it has an opening and a closing. Now with the CSS comment tag, this is your opening. That's the forward slash and the asterisk. And then you put your content in the middle. And then the closing is just the opposite. The asterisk first, then the slash. Those are the two characters for your CSS comments tag. So again, you've got this forward slash, asterisk, asterisk, forward slash. And then the content goes in the middle. Everything in the middle is totally invisible to the browsers. Let me show you an example. Here in a basic HTML5 document, I've got in the head section some code that I want to take place on the content within the body section. And here is the opening comment tag. Remember, forward slash, asterisk, asterisk, forward slash, forward slash, asterisk, asterisk, forward slash. And everything in between these two guys is totally invisible to the browsers. And here is the description that I was referring to and the fact that it can span multiple lines. Many of them, though, are just on a single line. And I've got my meta information in here, totally optional. And I've got some additional CSS in here as well that for the time being, so long as it's in between these opening and closing CSS comment tags, it's not being seen by the browsers. So if you have multiple options for a particular batch of code in your CSS, this would work great. Just keep that up in here for either future reference for yourself or for somebody else you're wanting to maybe pass this information on to. And that's it. That's going to wrap up this video on CSS comment tags.